Hi, welcome to the Quick Secure Workshop. My name is Christoph, and uh, this is my channel. Um, I do different things. This coming couple of weeks, I want to do a series on a etching press. If you are familiar with printmaking, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're not, let me explain to you what an etching press is. It's basically two rollers that, that runs on top of each other and they get pressurized by means of a screws that you tighten them down and then there's a drive wheel that you turn sometimes it's geared sometimes it's directly on the on the cylinder most of the heavy duty presses are geared so you can turn the, the lever easily and then there's a plate between the two rollers and on top of the plate um, you basically have a blanket and you put your the plates, the etching plate, uh, the two blankets, there's another blanket on top of that. Um, sometimes there's a third blanket, like a thinner one, but mostly it's just two blankets and then you put the pressure of the rollers in such a way that when you turn the wheel and the rollers turn, it forces the plate and the paper through the two rollers and pressurizes it equally so it's uniformly pressurized and then whatever image is scratched out on the plate it's normally a copper plate but it can also be a, a metal plate or a zinc plate um, and then the ink that is inside the little grooves gets pushed into the paper and normally the paper is a little bit damp there's other things that you can also use the etching press for you can do embossing, the, when you have raised letters, you put the paper through uh, and you roll it, then it actually embosses uh, and, and makes everything stand out. You can do wood blocks, you can carve things out of wood blocks, out of vinyl, basically anything that, that can take some ink and then you can, you don't have to just print on paper, you can also print t-shirts. There's some guys, not a lot, but there is some guys that does t-shirt uh, designs and put it through a printing press, etching press. And in the next couple of videos, uh, I want to go through the steps of um, how I'm building my own printing press because um, I wanted a big one and I actually built one similar to this uh, before for someone and I did some research and got everything together and I built it. Unfortunately I did not document that build but that's why I want to document this one now. The other things that, that uh, is important is a size. The, st the cheaper and smaller printing presses uh, they are um, cheaper and they but you are limited to the width you can imagine the wider you go the more pressure you need because in the middle this all this pressure needs to be transferred to the middle where do we start the first thing is to start with deciding what size printing press you would want to bolt I've decided to make one that is can print 600 millimeters that's two feet and if I go if I went any wider than this then I would have had to have bigger bearings and the cost will go up significantly and uh, you work from there um, a nice size the rollers mustn't be too too small because then your area of pressure is very concentrated and uh, the advantage also of a bigger roller is it doesn't slip 
easily when you when you put this uh, the thing through if your rollers are too small then you might turn the wheel and your work doesn't want to go through the two rollers so I've uh, decided to go on a 150 millimeter diameter pipe which is more or less six inches and I took it from there the pipe was was cut into lens made a little bit longer I made it 650 so I'm uh, I'm sure that I'm gonna have a 600 millimeter surface and uh, I had some plates laser cut with holes and then basically I went to a bearing place and I've, I've basically chose some bearings that's got the right size firstly um, it's all about the size of your spindle so this spindle here is 30 millimeters in diameter and so I had to get uh, bearings that are 30 millimeters so you have to work with what is available you shouldn't buy all your materials not before you are sure what bearings you can get and if you can see here um, this bearing has got a uh, it's a sliding bearing so it's got a groove here and that's also important to know what this uh, measurement is here in this case this is 12 millimeters so I know that the plate that that's going to be here must be a 12 millimeter plate and that's important when I design this on, on CAD to know what thickness plates must be laser cut to fit with this and then also after I bought the bearings it was easy for me to just take measurements like that measurement there which is 90 millimeters that's important and to have some play so I'm not going to go into all the details of how I designed the whole thing. What I want to do is I want to make, uh, at the end of the series, I want to make um, all the drawings, the plans, the laser cut files, everything available uh, for, for anyone who wants to, to build this, uh, the similar or same thing. So um, I'm, I'm just going to take it step by step. So this is the first step is to get your materials to start sourcing your materials and see what's available and then i also had to get other bearings for the for the fixed roller that will also be the same 30 millimeters but there's four holes so those holes needed to be measured everything needed to be measured and uh, to to be able to draw it all, all up in a CAD program so I have uh, laser cut files to get parts so laser cutting is a very very cost efficient way of doing this and basically there's two of these bearings two of these that that uh, is for the for the one roller is a exactly the same roller so you need two rollers um, what I also did with this roller is the spindle runs right through and the plates was welded on and it was machined by a professional uh, engineering company and basically I also had a hole on the, on, on the side here and I filled the whole roller with concrete so I don't know how much this weighs but this is very heavy it's it's very difficult to pick up the reason for the concrete although this tubing is quite thick steel is flexible and if you put a lot of pressure on it it, it, it would want to to bend so the concrete inside is twofold the reason for that the one reason is for to make it more rigid so that the pipe can't deform or bend easily the other reason is the weight uh, the more weight you have the less you have to to tighten the and put pressure because the weight is already pressure so that's the two reasons and it's, it just makes it very solid and and strong and heavy so 
without any further ado, let's go to the computer and do make some drawings and we'll, we'll I'll show you exactly uh, just quickly how I did that and I will take it from there. Um, the way this works is from the program, I export the file and it gets uh, exported as a DXF file and then the laser cutting is done according to the, the file and I specify the material thicknesses uh, for each part and in this case this was 6mm <laughs> So here is the part, um, <clears throat> one of the parts that cut um, from the laser cut files. The part that I just showed um, is 6mm and the reason I made it 6mm because remember that bearing was 12mm so um, instead of making a big heavy part of 12mm that's unnecessary um, I made a second part that comes on top of there and that part, these two parts together makes the 12 millimeter gap for this bearing. This bearing will slide in, it's a very tight fit but I still need to, uh, after I assemble it, I'm going to surface these uh, areas a little bit with the grinder make it smooth but uh, you can see the bearing will fit in there there's no play and it will slide up and down as uh, you make the adjustments then there's all the little um, other parts that is in the assembly there's a, uh, a hole there for the nut and this part goes on top here and then so, some indexing circles I'll, as, as we get to that I'll explain that and that's some pieces of small parts and I just want to thank my friends there at LaserFab in Johannesburg for the laser cutting they did an excellent job thanks Johnny and your team for the laser cutting if you want to have laser cutting done if you're in the Johannesburg area. Look them up, Laser Fab. They are professional and are, I can highly recommend them. The next week um, I will get into the, the manufacturing. The, the next steps are going to be to get these parts all welded together to create a frame. I already got my rollers and I've got all the bearings and all the, the nuts and bolts so basically it's just to assemble these parts so in the right way to weld them together so that they make the basic um, chassis of the of the press I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please support me by subscribing the YouTube algorithms really is the only way to promote and to get my channel to grow so if you subscribe and if you like my video it helps and also um, just for your own convenience if you activate the bell then you are updated when the next video is uploaded have a great week